<laughs> so he was very civilian about it. Uh, we both remember the time years ago at the Christmas Eve cocktail party on Mother Third Trek that was going on in the Nut Mask in his Franciscan habit. And my mother would say, Now there's a man who knows how to dress for Christmas. <laughs> 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 the palliative care team came by and was a little bit more uh, receptive this time. I actually had a plan. I said that I, I wanted to wheel my mother out to a small park that was near the hospital, which adjoined a play area for children. And I, I thought that she could watch our children play from a distance. They couldn't come to the intensive care unit. I think that might be standard in intensive care units. But I thought she could see them. Uh, she could see them play from a distance, and, and she and I would sit there together. And I could tell the people in the palliative care team were a little uncomfortable about this. And since I had learned that so much in that hospital gets down to who's going to sue, I said, look, I give you my word. The last breath my mother takes is half a block away from the Chicago water tower. And she can see her grandchildren in play. You will get only thanks from me. They said, let's see what can do. She woke up and decided, why not watch a movie? So we, we turned on the in-house movie channel. It turned out to just have the you know, low-rent direct-to-video, violent, stupid movie starring faded sitcom stars. I, can I offer a practical suggestion here? I, I, I know I've had a couple of nurses here tonight. An in-house movie channel that shows good movies. And by that I mean familiar, classic, funny, divertingly stupid or inspiring. I mean movies you want to see again to feel good. That's why you're in the hospital, isn't it? <laughs> Everybody would have their own list. Blazing saddles. <laughs> what could be wrong with a campfire scene if you're sitting there? <laughs> Young Frankenstein, Hoosiers, 42nd Street, Fiddler on the Roof, Lilies of the Field, Mulan, Frozen, E.T., Mrs. Miniver, Sea Biscuit. Get a list of 20 or 30, rotate them. Don't make people watch the news. I know how depressing the news is. <laughs> you don't need that bit. Don't make them watch cable channels with blazing, blaring pundits. Their blood pressure will burst for sure. Well, in any event, I pass on that suggestion. I'd written a book about Jackie Robinson a few years ago. A talented group of people had made the movie. And Daryl Cryer, the producer, had given me a copy that I downloaded to my iPad. My mother hadn't seen it yet. So, I queued it up. We began to watch it together. Leo DeRocher was, um, was Jackie Robinson's first manager in the major leagues. And uh, <clears throat> I tweeted, watching 42, my mother remembers Leo DeRocher made passes her twice. <laughs> <laughs> once as a Dodger, once as a Cub. <laughs> <laughs> I asked, who's the all-star? Mm -hmm. We had a wonderful time. It's a good film, inspiring story, reminds you of the power of humanity. My mother and I held hands through all of it. I felt blessed. And shortly after midnight, I sat by her side and she closed her eyes. And I tweeted this, I don't know how we'll get through these next few days. And I don't want them to end. She roused herself a bit, looked up and asked me, will this go on forever? She she needs pain, dread. No. She says, but we'll go on for it. You and me. Yes. I had to close my eyes, flop on the mat fitfully, woke up at the start of one of the buzzers and leapt to the rail in the bed. There's my mother who saw my hands shaking. She held me and murmured, Good night, sweet prince. <laughs>